Good morning. I don't have on any makeup whatsoever. So don't judge me, guys. And I um, am up early this morning. You probably can't tell how early it is. Oop, I'm going to get a better view. But it is uh, almost, it should be 6 a.m. now. We got up at 5. Uh, we have a flight to Cabo. We are going on a little mini vacation that is well overdue. We haven't been to Cabo in about, I don't know, three years or so. So this will be our third time going. We're just gonna be there for four days, three nights, I mean three nights, three days, four nights. Meanwhile, I'm looking busted. I didn't wear anything cute to the airport because if it's an early morning flight, I'm not getting dressed up. We were leaving in the afternoon. Then I might throw on some makeup, put on an outfit because as soon as we get to our location, I just want to be able to, you know, start our vacation. But since we're getting there pretty early, I'll have time to get dressed. What are we doing? Are we doing over? Yeah. Oh, my bad. So yeah, I'll try not to blab this whole vlog. There have been vlogs that I have blabbed the whole time and that's why you guys have not seen them because once I edit them, I'm like, this is boring. So hopefully this vlog is not boring and good thing is we'll be going on vacation so I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. And yeah, just gonna make sure everything it's locked down here. Ooh, walking in the dark. Um, Ooh, Lord have mercy. This big bag. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's so annoying. I'm so happy about our seating arrangement because, as you can tell, I am not in the middle seat. My back is, and Reggie is over there on the aisle.
to the store and go pick up a few things. Reggie's being OCD right now and trying to keep the room clean. So if you guys she is spread out everywhere. Notice you know how women are. there is spread nothing out. Our suitcases are completely unpacked and put away. We're walking to the grocery store, guys. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm now fully clothed with a little bit of makeup on. We're about to go to the pool. Y'all, oh, something oh, is going oh, on. Oh, really? Okay. Hey. Yeah. Hello. Reggie wants to make an appearance. What's going on? That ain't no more. Take that tag off your head. Little Reg. You got. Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. No, no. <laughs> so, y'all. Because I'm sure somebody's going to say something or think something when you watch this vlog. My skin is really going through it. I already have acne prone skin. But there's something a little bit more aggressive going on. I'm starting to notice it a little bit more where I have these little tiny bumps. Normally I just get like a full on pimple and then it goes away after some time. But I have these little small bumps. I don't know if I'm washing my face too much. Which could very well be because I wash my face like 10 times a day. Did you give me a cup? Okay guys, so we went to the grocery store. I think I gave you guys an update when we were at the grocery store. We got our own drinks here because we about that save money life. We like to travel in luxury, but we like to save money too. You wanna sit at this pool? There's one, two. Do you want to, so do you wanna look at everything now and then? So, cause I wanna find the gym in the spa. So let's do that real quick. because I wanted to blog it when I actually go and receive a service that my husband is gonna treat me to because I've been so stressed. Husband been treating, old vacation. So anyways. Oh it reminds, it's very similar to this, like the feel. Like remember it went, we went down. Yeah, it was like this. It was for sure. <laughs> necklace off now we're just lounging gonna take a nap because I'm so tired I barely slept much yesterday because I was I started packing at the last minute and trying to do some last minute things so I didn't go to bed till about maybe midnight or after midnight we woke up like at five o'clock this morning so I'm tired so we're gonna take a nap and Reggie's gonna figure out what we're doing for dinner. Let's turn up. I kinda wanna go to this place called the Petit Growl, which is where we went the last time we were together in Cabo. It's a pretty bougie experience. <laughs> but yeah, we've just been enjoying ourselves, not not trying to plan too much our first day here, just trying to get settled in and relax and eat 
no real plans, just basically enjoying ourselves, you know? Because I feel like if you start planning a bunch of stuff and it doesn't go according to plan, then you get all stressed out. Like, who has time for that? We're on vacation. Let's just go with the flow. What's your piece of advice for people who are like that? Like what? Who are micromanaging vacation planners who have to have an itinerary. Just plan one thing for each day. That's it. And why is that? Because you won't enjoy the trip. And the, if you're trying to plan your entire day out meticulously, you're not going to enjoy your trip. So that's good advice. Plan one thing a day. So you don't stress yourself out. And you don't stress everybody else out. I think that's pretty good advice. Morning. It is about 7 a.m. And I am walking to the gym. They have an amazing gym that I really need to get some work in because your girl is getting a little bloated and I have a few things that I'm wearing that uh, fit on the tighter side. So I am going to try to get some cardio in and then we're gonna uh, eat breakfast and uh, meet our friends, Tony and Tierra later on. So I do have on a um, cute little workout outfit too. You know, you know, neon colors are really in these days. So, um, and I had to put on a little bit of lipstick here because my lips were so freaking dry. And this is a, um, a tinted moisturizing lip thing by Fenty. Well, I mean, I, uh, essentially it's a lipstick. Which way did we go? This way? Okay. So. Watch your step, girl. Now they're here, we're just gonna eat, drink, and talk. Come on, oh Lord. I'm so excited. You just knew what it was. So Tiara. No! I'm gonna ask you an easy question. Okay, what's my question? So Tiara is a new mom. Oh yeah. And she is traveling, it's her first time traveling out of the country without her baby. So I know. Give the new mom some advice on traveling for the first time without their baby. Well, I will say my mom has my baby, so the person I trust the most has my has my heart right now. Okay. So that's giving me some and he's also a daycare girl half the day, no. so I know they'll take care of him too. And so you can I'm watch him from your phone too. <laughs> yes, and I'm already watching him from my phone. I said, Mama, in, in case right things right happen, don't want to put bad vibes okay. out. Okay. She got an emergency card with his uh, health but, insurance. Okay. She got a note of all his routines. Not like she didn't know. It, that's but something that you you wrote out for her. It is. I typed it all over. She's laughing at me. She's like I'm so sorry, but I need to. You have to make sure. Exactly. I put his clothes out. Like he's this huge big boy. Like he's 14 months. Like his clothes are laid out, mom. I snuggled with him this morning, so yeah. Um, you had to get, yeah. You had to compare your spirit for the I did, but I'm excited because, yes, we have not had a vacation uh, with friends or anything. Haven't left him and went out of the country since he's been born. So, yeah, so. I think I'm good though. Like I said, a few more margaritas and I'll be great. And I'm so excited for Cabo Wabo. I am excited about that. So, yes, leave me alone now. Okay. We won't make her talk about the baby anymore. No more babies. So, we are here, like I said. I'll check back in with you guys. Y'all are going to come all around the Cabo with us. Hopefully, Cabo Wabo. Hope I won't be too drunk by then. All right. Bye. Bye. We just got through eating at. Was it Hard Rock Cafe? 
What is it, fish tacos or shrimp tacos? Yes, Marco's Blackened Fish Tacos. See, we can eat that. So we're, uh, we just got done eating. But we're sitting at the pool and we wanted to order something to munch on because that's what you do when you're at the pool, you munch. So, Reggie, what are you grinning at? What are you grinning at? I need to put my little stick back on. We're gonna get in the pool eventually. Such a huge deal about risotto when we was on our cruise. Yo, we had risotto. We had the best risotto. That's ever what y'all Let me tell you something. She don't realize it's Sorrento, Sorrento, She doesn't no, understand Sorrento. how much work it takes to make risotto. It was yeah. risotto. It was the, the people that make risotto. Their elbows hurt. Make, I don't know nothing about it. You have to constantly stir. I don't, it. I don't know how to make this it. risotto. Looks nice though. I know he's still a fraud. Can't you appreciate what it takes to really make risotto? Oh. Actually, you don't. Well, now I do. Yeah. Is this your man? Oh, that's not your sure. Oh, then that's yeah. not mine. Uh, oh. Oh. So, oh. 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 I know. I know it's sad. We are getting ready to go to Madonna Beach. Is that the name of it? I forget the name of it. The beach. But we going to the beach to chill all day. Everybody's got their coffee, waiting for breakfast, and we're gonna head out in the hot sun all day. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> hey guys, we're at the. I'm gonna sleep really good on my little couch here. Get the bucket. I know, doesn't it happen all of a sudden? I think y'all took shots while y'all left. That's what I think. I changed my outfit because that was lit. Oh, there's a car coming straight on towards us. Too. Let me know something. Permítame preguntarles algo. Who's coming to Cabo Puerto for Stanley? I'm the one who's going to Cabo Puerto for the first time. Are you strong enough? Los que son locales, no se preocupen. Pueden mentir. Ustedes digan que sí también. It's a video. Is it strong enough? No anymore. Why not just stir it up? We got the lovers. Your life. 
But be careful. Don't tell your wife or husband you're gonna be in trouble. Stop it. Hey. <laughs> it's a new guy. Okay, so we finished our little boat excursion thing. I got um, really sick on the boat. I didn't throw up, but I was very nauseous. So, so glad that we're off of the boat now. We are headed in our Uber here to head back to our hotel. So, <laughs> It's already been demolished. Oh. <laughs> you might see some photos of the before, but anyways, I just wanted to come on and say thank you for watching the vlog. If you guys have any questions about some of the things that we did while here in Mexico, um, about the hotel or just some travel tips that I didn't include. Feel free to leave me a comment, send us an email. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions and give you some tips. Um, <clears throat> we just have to uh, pack up and head to the airport. We have a few hours before we have to do that, so we're just trying to soak up every minute that we can here because I mean it's a little paradise and when we get back home it's gonna be back to the real world <laughs>